you have no idea how happy it made me to be perceived as that because that's the goal. That's definitely the goal. The same way that men don't feel embarrassed about their hatred of women and using misogynistic terms, I don't feel shameful about this. All men are bad. So I'm going to be just as bad as they are. Feminism 2024. Some of your boyfriends are so ugly isn't the word. <laughs> like visually unstimulating that truly I feel like I lose my sense of object permanence around them which is something that like humans develop as babies um is the understanding that even when something isn't in your line of sight if it's not in a different room you still understand that it's real some of these men it's like I I close my eyes and I, I can't they're so like unremarkable and just like insert man here that I just like I I, I try to conjure an image of them and I can't I, I forget what they look like. Like, and I, I you know, I think it's because I'm a good friend, okay? Because, like, I think it's because I'm like, surely, like, who's that guy? Like, I'm like, she's not still with him. Like, she'll post on Instagram, and I'm like, is that the same guy from college? I can't, I can't remember. And it's scary for me because, like, I have Alzheimer's in my family. How do you think I feel? Like, I will meet your boyfriend, and I'm like, nice to meet you, young man. I'm told I've met him before. That's frightening. I'm like, it's too soon for all this. But I'm such a good friend that I meet this guy. And don't worry, it's a personality thing too, to be so clear before you say like, it's so mean to say that you don't remember unattractive men. It's a personality thing. If he was a little funny, fun, interesting, I would recall, right? But he's so flopzilla that it's like, I literally can't uh, f fathom that you're still with him. In my mind, I men in black myself. My mind goes like, no, it couldn't be, couldn't be. A lot of men, I'm gonna speak for men like myself, who aren't super extroverted, aren't the life of the party. We only show our true personalities to certain people. One of those people being our partners. So you may meet a woman's, your friend's boyfriend, and he only shows you part of himself because he's not comfortable around you, just his girlfriend's friend, right? Most people can kind of understand that, but is this you? Earlier today, I got my eyebrows waxed. Um, I went in there and I said, Hi, can I get my eyebrows waxed? And she says, And mustache? Thank <laughs> 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 you. Yeah. I was like, Oh no, it looks all good. Like, I really just do my eyebrows. She said, No, I'll do the mustache. <laughs> I was like, No, it's really fine. She said, You're so funny. <laughs> Is this also you? One of the things about dating after a breakup, when you get back into dating, the one, th one of the striking things is you're on a date and at least for me, I'm a little bit like, are you not, you don't love me? I'm like, you don't love me right now. Which is like, of course not. And it would be crazy if you love me, but it's also is like, well, that's so boring. Ugh, we're not in love. I don't care. What, what am I even doing this, you know? So I get it, it's a process. Huh. I mean, you seem like a pretty unremarkable type of bitch, okay? I'm just being honest, okay? And you're single? Hmm. That's not a surprise, okay? It's always the single ones that have the most to say about other people's relationships. I hope it works out for you. I really do. All that comedy stuff? Quit. What he did to me was, like, try to get me to be someone else to fit him and his lifestyle. Oh, so and he was very controlling. Trying to change you. Uh, yes. Controlling. Very controlling. Just out of curiosity, what did he try to get you to do? What did he not try to get me to do? <laughs> he, uh, I mean, he tried to get me to not talk to friends. He tried to Smart. get me to delete my Instagram. Smart. He tried to get me to not wear certain clothes, not talk to certain people. But wow. I, and I know it sounds, I know you guys are like, oh, this sounds great. But it's not because it totally was changing who I was. Someone should fall in love with me for who I am. Did you live with him? Yeah. Did he pay all the bills and take care of you? Well, he had to because he didn't let me work. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what did he do for a living? Um, he is the vi vice president of a tech company. Okay. So he was a high earner. Yeah. Okay. Uh, was he an attractive guy? Tall and all that? Too? I mean, yeah. Would it be fair to say that guys like that are probably going to have standards? Yeah, I mean, yeah, everyone should have standards. And male standards, a lot of the times, I would argue, typically 
limit a woman's freedom to a degree i mean that's just the reality that's how men are with women they're territorial and a man that actually cares about you that has uh standards they're typically going to limit your freedom to a degree and that will encompass going out with certain friends go being on the internet exposing yourself to certain things i think a man once he starts putting boundaries on you it means he really cares about you uh i completely disagree with the fresh and fit here and i completely agree with what she's saying if you meet a person you should love them for who they are in that exact moment you trying to change a person is unfair it's selfish because you met them in that way now you want to change them that doesn't make sense you met a girl with an instagram now you want her to delete her instagram why didn't you just meet a girl who didn't have instagram you met a girl who dressed provocatively now you don't want her to dress provocatively why didn't you just meet a woman who didn't dress provocatively that would make more sense a lot of times men think they're setting boundaries and they're using that as an excuse to be insecure <laughs> what do you right? mean by that what do i mean by that when men tell women what they can and can't wear when a man is saying that if i'm with a woman my woman can't wear this mm -hmm. she can't do this she can't go here she can't go oh, there okay right and they saying that like, no, nah, that's my boundary. And the woman is saying you're insecure. She's right. You are insecure yeah. because your boundary is for yourself, not for her. So if your standard was, I don't date women who dress like this, you wouldn't be dating shorty. Mm -hmm. You crossed your own boundary because you knew you don't, you knew you, you don't want a woman who dressed like this. She was bad as fuck dressed just like that. Your lust took over. And you cuffed shorty and now you telling her to stop doing some shit she was already doing yeah. that's not a boundary that's not a because if the standard was for yourself you wouldn't have dated shorty now you're trying to make a standard for her that's not a boundary that's an insecurity and the thing is if you control yourself you don't have to control other people absolute facts and for all the smart guys out there saying date women that like you let me put things in perspective for you buddy if the women that want me aren't bad women, I'm not gonna want them. The women that want me don't look good. And the women I want look good, but don't want me. It's human nature to chase something that don't want you back. That's human nature. Most humans want what they cannot have. Therefore, if the women that wanted me looked like the women that I'm chasing, I'd probably be with a woman that likes me. I'm just saying. If chasing women that don't want you is human nature, I must be a UFO. I must be some sort of an alien. I don't know because I ain't doing that. Okay? Humans wanting what they can't have isn't a justification for chasing women who don't want you. When you chase the money, he isn't telling you, no, 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 go away. That That's not what happens, right? When you're chasing your dreams, your dreams aren't telling you, no, I'm not interested. That's not how it works. I'm gonna be. She quit on her job. Hold on, one second. No two weeks notice. I feel like that's very unprofessional. <laughs> really honest. Um. I've noticed a lot of women, not all, but a lot of you guys have this mindset of like, if a man can do it, I can do it. And I don't understand why y'all want to be men so bad. I get there's some women who just like to work in um, hard labor jobs because it makes more. I'm one of those women. I totally understand. And I would much rather be away from people and do stuff like this. Um, but it's not for the weak. Working with grown men, you're going to have to pick up the slack and carry your own dead weight. And a lot of the times women will realize that when they work in hard labor jobs, when you're loading trailers and stuff like that, you're on your own. Um, I always tell women this. A lot of the times you might underestimate how strong a man is, how much uh, pain a man can endure during working. Yeah, we're not the same. We're not equal. Hey, look, I'm not going to sit here and say women shouldn't work construction. Women shouldn't work hard labor jobs. If that's what you want to do fantastic i'm just stuck on the professionalism like you can't just be quitting on the job on the job site we got deadlines to meet you here quitting on the job like you're not getting a reference after this i hope you don't i cheated on him and came on 
tapped into my iCloud. Uh, I went away to cheat. So I went Mania. I went to Jamaica. I had match. a boyfriend in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had Jamaica. a whole man. I was married, but I had a whole man. Every single time I would go, I would just say I was going somewhere else. Uh, I'm going to Atlanta. He knew I didn't want him. I wasn't sleeping with him. He tapped into my iPad. On mm -hmm. my iCloud, saw some text messages. I was texting my friend, like, oh my gosh. Proper I'm loving it here. I'm in Jamaica. Jamaica's great. I was just like explaining. He's just asking me questions. And then he saw that I was there. So he was like, oh, so how's Miami? Because I said I was in Miami. Like, oh, how's okay. Miami? And I was like, oh, great. Then he didn't say anything. You told him you're in Miami? You yeah, I lied. Yeah, I, I did that a few times. Though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah. It wasn't like he got down on one knee and we, we proposed. It was like, oh, you're going to have to go home soon. I want you to stay. Let's I'm like, well, oh, let's get married. Why not? Yeah. But he took it way more seriously than I did. <laughs> he took the marriage seriously. Damn, crazy. Man. Uh, it's a cold world out here. It's a cold world out here. And um, having standards is important. I always say this. Avoiding women like this is easy. Stereotyping is important. Don't listen to society. Oh, we shouldn't stereotype. Oh, yes, you should. Okay, why her nails so long? Okay, were well, those tattoos? On her arm? <laughs> yeah. No. What's talking about? I, guess I, I think your fake eyelashes little... are messing up. No, with ain't nothing. Right. Hold on, hold on. This is... Order, Mr. Chairman. That's beneath would even you order, 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 order of your committee, Miss Crockett. I'm just curious, just to better understand your ruling. If someone on this committee then starts talking about somebody's bleach blonde, bad built butch body, that would not be engaging in personalities, correct? A, a what now? Chairman, I'm I, make a, I make a motion to strike those I, words. I don't, I don't think that's Hold a on. part I'm of it. I'm trying to find clarification on what quality. Chairman, I, I didn't, motion to I strike no those words. I have no idea what you just said. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do this. Look, you guys, Earlier, literally just oh, you just you just, you just voted to do it. I'm trying to get clarification. Listen, right? A lot of you guys might not know this. I, I feel like most of you will know this. I grew up in Grenada, okay. In Grenada, TV's America, right? The time zone, same as like Florida, right? So I grew up watching CNN, Fox News, you know, the CNN Cartoon Network. A lifetime lifetime network right and i came to the uk and i tried to get into the british politics i did but it's difficult the characters just aren't as fun the drama isn't there okay this is what i want to see this is drawing me in all of a sudden i'm doing research on what, what are they talking about what, what's the topic of debate why is it so heated this is what we need we need that wwe type entertainment the footage shows a Ukrainian soldier with Down syndrome named Vokarov, nearly causing the entire squad to perish due to a mortar operation mishap. According to Ukrainian media, Ukraine is currently facing shortages not only in ammunition but also in qualified personnel. The video reveals that Vokarov, under the taunting of veteran soldiers, was instructed to operate a mortar. Unfortunately, he loaded the shell incorrectly, almost leading to a catastrophe. Afterward, unaware of his mistake, Vokarov was verbally and physically abused by the veterans, leaving him terrified and crying in the trench. War is brutal and even for able-bodied soldiers the survival rate on the front lines is low. For someone like Vokarov who has Down syndrome, escaping a tragic fate is even more unlikely. Sent to the front lines despite being unable to care for himself, Vokarov stands little chance of participating in combat and risks becoming cannon fodder. Rumors suggest that his comrades even considered using Vokarov to attract Russian drones, and one Ukrainian veteran reportedly wanted him to test for landmines. Vokarov's case has brought public attention and concern to the treatment of vulnerable soldiers within the Ukrainian military. Some Ukrainians hope that Russian forces will capture Vokarov, believing it might save him from further suffering. This video made me think of a conversation that I was having this weekend, actually, and it was about if you went back in time would you want to be a man or a woman and i was telling the person who i was having this discussion with there's no the only people that would go back 100 years 1924 and want to be a man are the super patriotic conservatives i want to fight for my country i want to that's the only people all of us would be women you know why because if you were of age Unless you were physically unable, you were fighting a war, okay? And 1924, that was after World War One, so that means you survived. If you're my age now, 
That means you survived World War I. What's that going to do to you mentally? What's your mental health going to be like World War II around the corner? Men with Down syndrome have to fight wars. While I'm seeing women in Ukraine having a great time in different countries partying. But we talk about the past like men just had it great and women were just super oppressed and it was just being a man was fantastic because men could vote. Take my rights away. <laughs> Take it away because you will catch me in that kitchen. There's no way I'm fighting in any war for any country. Having a little brother is so weird. You won't hear from them for six weeks and then randomly they'll hit you with a 2 a.m. Hey, what are your thoughts on Ice Spice? Um, and then they'll text you three weeks later, no response or follow up about the ice spice question and just tell you that the UV is nine. Um, and they're curious what levels for all the women out there who think they have platonic male friends. This is how a man texts you that has no interest in anything more than just like friendship, not good morning texts, not do you want to hang out or go get dinner texts this, cause this is also how guys text each other. Guys don't usually text each other and just like, hey man, what's up? And conversations never end like, all right, I'll talk to you later. Just one of you stops responding. So if you're a girl and your guy friend texts you like this, he's just your friend. But if you're just casually texting all throughout the day, back and forth, how are you doing? What's up? Blah, blah, blah. There's a snake in the grass waiting for its chance to strike. I love this video because it's so true, okay? No lies told. There's no... There are no men who are chilling or laid up in bed all day texting their homeboy, huh? Just texting your homeboy all day throughout the day, just having a... No. Couple texts, cool, when you're on PlayStation or when you're on whatever the case is, and that's it. But this is where women get tricked. Because women do this, right? Women have long conversations with their friends and they say goodbye and good night. They do it with a man who they consider their friend and they think is cool. But it's not. He wants to smash. He does. This liquor got me get my zone. Now I'm blowing up your phone.